The iconic Uzi submachine gun has been intermittently seen in Ukraine since the early months of the conflict. The earliest images of the Uzi in theatre, which we could find, date to the beginning of May 2022. The origins of the Uzis are currently unclear, with a number of possibilities including Israeli-made IMI guns, Croatian EROs, surplus German Bundeswehr M2A1s, or perhaps most likely Belgian-manufactured Uzis made under licence by Evan Herstal. One of the earliest images of an Uzi in Ukraine appeared at the start of May 2022, with a Ukrainian combatant posing with an Uzi along with a group of other soldiers and a drone at what appears to be a range. On around the 11th of July, a group photo of International Legion members was shared, featuring one combatant holding an Uzi. Several days later, on the 17th, a photo was shared of an international volunteer with an Uzi in the back of a vehicle. A month later, a Ukrainian soldier was photographed holding a pair of Uzis in a classic pose. On the 21st of February 2023, a member of the Stugnabat unit with the International Legion shared a photo of a combatant with an Uzi. A Ukrainian infantry officer shared a video featuring himself firing two Uzis at once on the 14th of March. Subsequent photos shared online seemingly taken at the same time, featuring the officer and the Uzis, revealed he's with the 93rd Separate Mechanized Brigade. In early April, another Ukrainian combatant shared a clip of himself on TikTok, test firing an Uzi at a range. Research by Ukraine Weapons Warfare has confirmed that at least three of the Uzis seen in Ukraine in early 2023 are of Belgian manufacture. Ukraine Weapons Warfare spoke to two Ukrainian combatants, those who posted the videos with the Uzis, who confirmed that their guns had FN hairstyle markings. FN acquired the license to manufacture the Uzi in 1958, with production of Belgian-made guns continuing into the early 70s. As a result, a large number of Uzis purchased by European countries were made by FN, not IMI. The Uzis haven't appeared in any combat imagery and largely appear to be used as personal defence weapons. They're most often seen in photos from the range, away from the front line. Due to the iconic weapon's notoriety, they also appear to hold a novelty value with Ukrainian combatants. Until we get clearer photos of the markings or corroboration from more users, we can't be certain that all of the Uzis in Ukraine were originally manufactured by FN. Similarly, it remains unclear which country or countries have provided the Uzis to Ukraine, but we at least know that several of them were manufactured in Belgium. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you found this video interesting, please do consider supporting us via Patreon or YouTube memberships. We have a number of packs available and you can get early access to all of our videos. For more information on the weapons being used in Ukraine, check out our playlist linked at the end of this video. Thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.